Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is another use for uh, flow control modules. And if we save this project and go to another project, I have a selector to select polyphony on this project that is kind of handy, and you'll see why. Here's my poly container. Back to demo synth and paste that in there. Okay, I'm um, just up above here is the MIDI to CV module, which of course transforms all the MIDI to control voltage. And on that, we have two pins that would deal with poly. One is for mono mode, it's got an on and off. Of course, on is mono, off is poly. You've got a re trigger pin as well. And basically, that's on and off. You'd only, oh, I would only want to use that if you were doing a legato effect in mono mode. And so basically, this little container I've got here has a circuit in it to transform my one poly controller. Um, it's got a range of legato on the left, mono in the middle, and poly on the right. If we look at the structure, we'll see why. And again, I'm using flow control modules and voltage to list conversion. Here's the incoming voltage from the knob. It drives both of these flow control modules many to ones. And here are my fixed values. This is just um, routing the voltages that I need to modulate those on and offs for the mono and the retrigger pins and converting those voltages to the list entries for those. By having both of these flow control modules driven by this voltage to list, you get a discrete modulation, which means that when you hit the second tier of both of them, both of them switch at the same time. So basically, you can use several tiers of um, flow control modules with voltage to list, as we did over here when we were limiting the waveform selection. And you can get complex with those and really open up and really open up a lot of structural possibilities with that technique. Okay, so basically we've eliminated the combo boxes, replaced them with something more desirable, and seen how we can use the flow control modules to start to shape some of our ideas into practice. And so I'm going to show you one more thing, and then basically you... Um, should be able to figure it out by going through examples that are on the user list and so forth. And I'll show you a way to add velocity responsivity to your synth. The MIDI to CV module outputs 0 to 10 volts for velocity. And if we were to connect that directly to our envelope amplification, that would simply be added to the slider that we have to set the amplification. And maybe you want the amp slider to be the middle of your modulation range for velocity, or you want it to be the highest setting for amplitude and for your velocity responsivity to give you a lower level than that. It really depends on what you want to do. There's a lot of different ways you can set velocity to a control, and synths seem to do them differently. In fact, I, I tend to switch techniques myself. And... I'm going to build a little structure here and restart the camera when it's built. Okay, I have moved things about a little. Here's my amp envelope. Here's the ADSR and the amp slider. Here's my MIDI to CV. These are the parts that we're going to be using, so they're positioned where you can see them clearly. And here's a level adjuster module. And here is the slider that I'm going to use to apply velocity to the amplitude. I'm going to take this velocity pin and connect it to the level adjuster. Remember this output 0 to 10. I'm going to combine that with a fixed value attached to the same pin as the velocity with negative 10 volts. That's going to transform the output effectively of my velocity from negative 10 at the lowest velocity to 0 for the highest velocity. So you can see that that would be more appropriate for using the amp slider as the highest setting and having the velocity responsivity be lower than that. Now, say my amp slider was at 5, and um, I had a negative 10 velocity, that would 5 minus 10 is negative 5, and if you amplify something by negative 5, it's going to be just as loud, it's just that your waveform is going to be upside down. So just connecting that straight up isn't a way to do that. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is connect the output to the same place as the amp slider. And I'm going to amplify the range of my velocity trimmer by the amp slider by using this extra level adjuster module. And so basically, again, we've got a negative 10 to zero range for velocity. It would normally be amplified by this slider, except now this slider is being amplified by my amp setting. So for instance, if my amp is at five, Instead of this slider being 0 to 10, it is now being 0 to 5, or if this were 3, it would be 0 to 3. So now this range of negative 10 to 0 is being amplified by 5, making it um, negative 5 to 0, or 3 being negative 3 to 0, which means that at the highest setting, it would effectively counteract the amp setting and provide a nice way of setting the amp slider as the maximum setting and allowing this to set your velocity sensitivity. So if we put this up almost to the top and press play, if you use this keyboard here, it's not really going to do much because it has a fixed velocity. So I'm going to use my controller off screen, a very soft touch. Oh, oops, I need to add a MIDI input, a very soft touch. A very loud touch, progressing, because my velocity slider is at highest sensitivity. If I reduce it a bit, a very soft touch is going to be louder, but it still has an effect. And so that's how you do that.